morning everybody we are back in the truck I feel accomplished I changed my cruise button my set and resume button that you click to make the idle go up and down or just cruise in general the button broke so I ordered a new button off of Amazon and it came in the mail and I replaced it myself I thought it would be a lot more difficult <laughs> I thought this could be all complicated turns out these dashboards come apart pretty easily here in the truck you just take a piece off take a few screws out take the whole panel out unplug the other one literally just plug in the new one put everything back together John here I thought that I was gonna need like a master's degree in mechanics and technicianing technicianing <laughs> feel very good about myself it's a good start to the day so today we're picking up a trailer at our yard that's already loaded for me I got to tie it down it's a pretty light load that is going to Mississauga you thought I was gonna say Mississippi no we're gonna go to Mississauga that is uh, Toronto for those of you who don't know what Mississauga is I don't it's okay it's, it's Toronto so we're going through northern Ontario it's gonna be two long days of driving I have to be there on Monday I'm starting this uh, video and starting this trip on a Saturday I'm gonna be working through the weekend my logs are reset so I got plenty of hours I'm good to go it's 2,000 kilometers or uh, 1,300 miles approximately we gotta go 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 gotta get there in two days and it's through northern Ontario so it's gonna be very uh, hopefully we uh, don't hit any bad weather I've checked the forecast we might hit a little bit of light snow but nothing too extravagant but we'll see My choke is dirty. Ooh, starting to feel like winter out here again. What is this? What is this? Is it still winter time? I thought it was springtime. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. I do know. I'm going to Mississauga, Ontario. With this. Nice light load. I'm gonna bring this to the good people out there. Somebody needs it. They're counting on me. We better get going. You ready to go to Ontario, boy? No? What's wrong with Ontario? Well, don't say that, but there's good people there. Good people in Ontario. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, I got some family out in Ontario, too. Time to go. We're gonna be driving into the night. All right, here we go. Dad was here too, grabbing his trailer. He's already gone. He's on van division, so it doesn't take him quite as long. He hooks on and goes. Well, hooks on, pre-trip, make sure the trailer's good, the truck is good, then he can go. But for me, I gotta do all that plus tie my load down. It took me a little while longer than him to get out of here. He's headed south. I believe. Now I'm headed east, so we couldn't run together anyway. Otherwise, that would have been fun. Haven't been able to run with my dad, like, convoy in a long time. Being in two different divisions, it's uh, it's not that often that we even cross paths. <coughs> he does dry van, so their routes are totally different than mine, and their customers are totally different than mine. I did dry vans for six years before I got onto flatbeds. Now I've been doing this for six and a half years. No, about six years. See, we will be driving late. We gotta stop by Deacon's Corner Petrol Pass yet for fuel. That is the cheapest fuel on my route. Manitoba's got some cheap juice if you compare it with other Canadian provinces right now. so much 
easier. Hopefully they just keep going from there, right? Get it four lane divided all the way to Toronto and all the way to Ottawa. Eventually, I mean, we should be able to get it done in about 500 years, that's what I'm thinking. It's not bad, it's a pretty good pace. Thomas' daughter was married to the Grand Master of the Order. He had access, as all Grand Masters do, to ancient knowledge of the Knights Templar, including their maps. Columbus knew there was something on the other side of the Atlantic. He didn't know what, but he knew there was land and treasure. He knew this because the Knights Templar had maps of the New World for centuries. One of these was the Piri Reis map, and you know this famous map. It shows the New World and Antarctica hundreds of years before they were rediscovered. Piri Reis, by the way, was a cartographer from Istanbul, which... Long way to go. Sun's gonna be going down in about an hour or two. So a lot of this vlog today, I guess, will be at night, which will be kind of difficult because there's not a lot to see at night here. Not a lot to see during the day. Never mind when you, <laughs> there's no light. So a little forewarning in advance. I'll do what I can to show you where we're at, where we're traveling through here. For those of you who have never gone through here before, Canadian, there, there wouldn't be much reason for you to be traveling through here, unless you're coming up here to do some fishing, right? But this is, uh, if you're American, you'd be going around the, the Great Lakes, which are to the south of me, to the right. You'd be going around the south side through Wisconsin, Michigan, around by New York, Minnesota and stuff. You wouldn't come up around this way. That's why I like to show a little bit more of the scenery and stuff where I'm going through when I come up here, because these are highways that you, uh, the majority of my audience have probably never driven down. And just off to my right, sorry, is Lake of the Woods, which borders Minnesota on the South Shore. We're going to be going over the north side of the Great Lakes though later today or later tonight I'm trying to get somewhere between uh, Marathon Ontario and Wawa Ontario if I can make it all the way to Wawa that's great I think there's a town in there called White Earth as well maybe I'll stop there there's a rest area just past Marathon so I have a few options for later tonight but it'll be uh, middle of the night so Hopefully I'll be able to find a spot to pull her in and call it a night. I don't have much time to waste, so I'll be stopping for the shortest amount of time I legally have to and continuing on in the morning. I have a crane appointment, 8 a.m. on Monday. They don't want to be late for the crane. They really don't like that. That can get pretty expensive because they'll charge you. Charge you by the hour that they gotta wait there. And cranes are not cheap. No messing around. Laser focused. So I made it to Dryden, which is pretty much just the tip of the iceberg for our drive time today, and the sun's already gone down. Still got some light out here, but that'll be gone in about a half hour. I don't mind night driving in Northern Ontario because there's less people on the road, less people slowing me down. The only thing you gotta watch out for are the moose. I haven't seen a moose in a long time. Knock on wood, let's hope it stays that way. But I used to come through here and see moose almost every single trip. I don't know where they all went or if they just got smart, had a, like, had like a community moose meeting and, and all came to the conclusion like, let's actually, you see this long pathway? Let's stay off the human pathway. hope it stays that way because you do got to watch out for them especially at night you can be uh, some areas of this road are pretty remote and you hit a moose you're disabled in your vehicle in the middle of the road at night if it smashes out your headlights on the front well you got no lights warning people up front 
truck obviously won't run, you know, so it's, it can be a big problem pretty quick. <laughs> That's why it's a good idea to run during the day, but there are benefits to running at night too. We have no choice. We gotta keep going. I got an appointment to make. I've got to get at least another seven hours behind me today. At least eight hours would be preferable. We're in Shania, Ontario, just past Thunder Bay. Driven about 700 kilometers today. It's about eight hours or so on these roads. We're not going to bed yet. We're just stopping in for a little snack. I'm getting kind of snacky. find inside and then head back out there the weather's been good so that's that's a good thing area near Marathon, Ontario. This isn't the typical place I would usually stop. This place is a mess right now. It looks like there's a vehicle that got burnt out over here. We can go check it out. Look at this. This isn't the typical place I would stop because I don't believe there's any 24-hour facilities behind here anywhere where I could go if my truck stops running, right? So it's a little bit of a risk that I don't like taking, but it's a risk we're gonna take tonight. I need to find somewhere to stop, and this is the place that I found. Look at this, is this showing up in the video? This is like a completely burnt out vehicle that I saw here, what was it, a week or two ago when I was here. They still haven't cleaned it up. Oh, it smells like burning too. Oh, it smells like burnt. Burnt stuff. Yikes. So I found a place to park. There's a wide load right here. I just want to walk back here and make sure that people can still get in here and get around me. I like this trailer that I got. I believe it's a rental. It's got a few more chicken lights than usual. I think it looks nice. Uh, so I'm gonna leave my LEDs on for now so that I can see where I'm going when I go around here. I believe there's plenty of space. Did I get my trailer over as far as I could? Uh, well, I guess I, I could go a little bit further to the side here. Like, where does this end off? Way over here. Oh, I can go all the way to here. Get myself out of the way a little bit more. Because that's the driveway there. Okay. Well, there is quite a bit of space to get in here. I just don't want people dragging their trailers over mine, you know? I love these lights. It's awesome. Got myself moved over just a little bit further. Plenty of space for people to get through here now. I'm not too worried. So? Turn right. Karen! has to be included. That is my GPS Karen. Sorry I didn't introduce you today. Temperamental. Yeah. Talks a lot. Likes to boss me around. 
thanks for hanging out with me as we uh, travel through Northern Ontario. I have about 1,100 kilometers left to do tomorrow, 650 miles or so. We should be able to get that done. Hope you tune in. Please don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos pretty much every day. You can go back through my playlists and see videos way, way back, all the way to 2011. I encourage you to do so. You hit that like button. Those two things are free to do, and it helps me out a great deal. And if you want to go one step further, if you have the means, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can become a member and get early access to my videos if that's what you'd like to do. You can click the Join Now button below any of my videos or on my main page if you're interested. If not, that's okay. I'll see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Time, if I can. Sometimes I, I'm a little bit behind now on videos, to be honest with you. I think I'm like five or six videos behind. Eh, I gotta get those done. As soon as I get them done, I have them all uploaded, right? But I only release one per day. Otherwise, everyone gets overwhelmed, right? But some people don't mind being overwhelmed, and those people are the members. So when I do get them all uploaded, sometimes I have like six videos, six vlogs online waiting to be released. The members can get access to them. YouTube gets access to them one, one per day. And I try to keep them within a few days no more than a week behind when they actually happen just so you guys can sort of keep up with where I'm at and how things are going. I'm very tired though as you can tell I'm trying to make sense of what I'm saying here and it's, it's tough. I need to go to bed. I don't really like parking here where I don't have a warm place to go in. That's not like me to do it all but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. At least I have really good cell signal so if anything goes wrong, uh, I can get help here pretty quickly. And we're just outside of town, so it's not like I'm way out in the middle of nowhere. Marathon is just down the road. So help would be close by if I needed it. See you tomorrow. I think I've said that three times now.